What's up guys, this is Toys to Men and bringing you another review of The Walking Dead Pop RV Walker Zombie Now, let me show you a little look at the box here Pretty cool artwork on the side I guess As you can see in the back, the real RV zombie himself And of course the other characters from the line And that's about it for the box So let's dive into this figure a little bit all in all, this figure's pretty awesome. Now, this is more of your original style, or I mean, or should I say not original style pop figure. Now, he just doesn't look like a, you know, a plain big piece of plastic with uh, two dark black eyes. You're getting a little bit more here, and I think this is very cool how they did this. Um, very awesome. Now, the... You can't really tell on the camera right now, but the texture on the head is, is really dark. Uh, it's you know, kind of rough and it just looks nasty, it looks dirty, it looks crinkly, old, wrinkly, it's just, it's cool. Um, now, you cannot remove the screwdriver, which kind of bothers me a little bit, I guess, you know, just, I know, I mean, I know it's a pop figure, but, you know, it's the little things, I guess, you gotta gripe about something. All in all, though, now, as you can see here, with some of the meat has just been ripped from his face, which looks really cool. Uh, just his teeth. I mean, this is a really cool figure. It really is. Uh, the zombie pop figures are very awesome. Uh, and, and the sad thing is, lots of people would rather just have the main characters and don't pick these guys up. And the thing about it is, you know, in all honesty, these ones are these ones are the coolest ones because you get you just get a little bit more, uh, I, in my opinion, out of the zombie pop figures. Um, he's got his, you know, button-up shirt unbuttoned here. Just, just real cool. I mean, you know, for, for a small hobby or, or whatever, a small collection, if you want to get into the pop, I definitely recommend it. It's, it's cool stuff. It really is. Um, the figure's pretty awesome, as you guys can see, and, uh, like I said, you know, I, I try not to have these as, as short as they are, but the fact of the matter is, you know... It's not like I'm going over any kind of articulation with this guy. There's not really much else that can be said. Except for the paint apps on this cool on this guy is really, really cool. They look fantastic. The shirt, even the white shirt's dirty. Uh, you know, everything is just messed up on this guy. Very, very cool. Um, the hands, you know, just, I don't know. It just looks like a zombie to me. Very awesome. Uh, and that's about it for the for the review on this guy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I was able to help you uh, decide whether it was worth you going out and picking up this guy. I would definitely recommend you do. He's very awesome, especially if you're in The Walking Dead or the pop figures themselves and want to get in The Walking Dead. This guy is one that I do recommend getting, uh, whether he is the only one you find on the shelf or if they're all on the shelf. I mean, this guy is he's cool. I mean, absolutely cool. So get this guy. And before I go, I would like to let you guys know that we do have a new website. It's www.toysdemen.net. Love to have you guys stop by. Check it out. We've got tons of, you know, blogs about all upcoming geek things and all current geek things. And it's just, we've got it all covered on that website. So come check that out. Also, follow us on Twitter at Toys Men. And, uh, you know, check out our check out our. Uh, podcast on iTunes. Uh, subscribe to us there on iTunes. Uh, you will not be disappointed with the podcast, I can promise you. Very, very opinionated. Uh, we, try to, we try to be as light and as funny as we can. Hopefully we can bring you guys a few laughs. But yeah, as far as the pop figure goes and Toys the Mint, this has been another review. Toys the Mint style.